All right. Hello, hello, my angels. It is freaking week 10. It is week 10. Holy shit. <laughs> That's insane. I'm proud of you for getting this far. And I'm proud of you for being so consistent and sticking to your goals to better you overall forever. So this week, we're going to go into a little bit about plateaus, what they are, how to kind of get out of those, no matter what your goals are right now. If you're plateauing from fat loss, plateauing from strength, plateauing from muscle gain, so on and so forth, we'll go in depth about that. And then for nutrition, we're going to peep some fast food, coffee, and smoothie order ideas. I know this was highly requested because if we're going out to um, like Starbucks, Dunkin', um, Smoothie King or Tropical Smoothie, you don't necessarily know what to order, but you know you want to make more mindful, healthy choices. This will be for you, and it'll also have a guide attached um, in this module on week 10 as well, outside of this video. Then lastly, for training, we're going to go into our next variable training manipulation method, which is high volume. That's where we'll really start to see the Physical muscle gain is when we step into higher volume in your training regimen overall, and that starts this week. All right, so firstly, hitting a plateau. They're normal. Um, if you're not increasing strength, muscle, or decreasing body fat, there could be so many reasons for this. And stalling out on progress can be reversed. But remember, progress is never linear no matter what kind of progress you're making. There will always be some divots as well as some really high points um, taking into account like the stock market. It is never linear, right? And so neither is human progress. That is something huge to keep in mind. And when you're just starting out with weightlifting or your health and wellness journey, your body will lose more fat and gain strength and muscle a lot faster than it will compared to 12 months in. And that's because, you know, it's something new to your body. You haven't experienced this type of um, stress before. So that's why you make so much more progress at the beginning of your health and wellness journey compared to 12 months in or two or three years down the line. Um, this allows progress to consecutively increase at the beginning, but obviously maybe harder the deeper you go into it. And to kind of give you a visual alongside that, um, at the bottom of this slide is an example of a chest press progression over the span of 30 days. So obviously they weren't um, bench pressing every single day. That would leave zero room for recovery, but it's not going to be a linear line up. You're not going to gain strength every single week. There will be some weeks where your body just doesn't want to push it. Um, and so that is normal. But now what do we do when your body's in a plateau? So let's hit on fat loss first. You've seen a bunch of fat loss over the past few weeks, um, but now it's just stalling out. Nothing is helping it. So what can we do about it? One, as your body loses space to take up, it also slows down your metabolism. So to rev up this metabolism, try to incorporate a high carb meal like pancakes, extra rice, froyo, etc., once a week to initiate that metabolism spike and help it go back up. And then also sleep. Making sure you're giving yourself an adamant amount of sleep every night is so, so important for fat loss. And lack of sleep creates stress on our bodies and minds, which releases a hormone called cortisol, which, bleh, 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 which directly affects our metabolism. And recommended sleep for each individual is just going to come from trial and error or experimentation. Um, scientifically speaking, every single person needs a different amount of rest, depending on what their lifestyle looks like. So really just keeping track of that over the span of like one or two weeks and creating the average of those um, time span in hours, that'll give you an idea of what an adamant amount of sleep looks like specifically for you. And then lastly, workouts. Continuing to push yourself as hard as you possibly can with your workouts. And the goal with a fat loss stage is to maintain as much strength and muscle as possible. So what we've been working on so far, those final two or three reps of every single exercise, 
you're doing should be extremely challenging. And when you're in this fat loss or deficit phase, it might be a little harder to increase your strength, increase your, your muscle, just because you'll probably be in a calorie deficit and those calories are our body's fuel source in order to achieve those things. So this, just keeping that in mind. Um, transitioning into muscle and strength gain, if you are plateauing in this realm, here are some tips for you. So number one, the more muscle you have on your body, the faster your metabolism is because muscle burns three times the amount of calories than body fat does. So with this in mind, take into account the food you're eating. Are you feeling hungrier throughout the day? Listen to your body and use food as fuel, especially in a muscle strength or a muscle size and strength state. So if you're still hungry throughout the day, even after you feel like you've eaten enough, then you need to listen to your body and feed it accordingly. Because as you increase that strength, increase that muscle, your body will naturally want more fuel to sustain the amount of energy you're exerting. And then number two, again, just like fat loss, sleep and recovery. This is so important when you're in a muscle, muscle gain and strength gain phase, because you're actively putting your body, body under a great amount of stress. So it needs time to build back stronger on the days you don't work out. So taking two to three days between body parts before training them again will be ideal because when we work out is when we actually tear our muscles and then rest is when they grow back stronger. So we need to emphasize rest, especially during this state. And lastly, workouts. Um, it could be that you pushed your body to its max for a long period of time and it needs that extra rest. So if your strength is coming to a halt, try implementing a deload week where you keep the same sets and reps for your typical exercises, but take the weight down 40 to 50% to give your body some of that extra recovery time. And if you have any other questions when it comes to deload and stuff like that, feel free to reach out to me and we can kind of go more in depth about what a deload week would look like for you specifically for your strength gain goals. And then kind of transitioning into the fast food coffee and smoothie order ideas. Again, this, um, this document link will be attached to the week 10 module and it'll go in depth about Starbucks options, Dunkin' options. This is for coffee. And I put in here coffee options, um, some substitutes, and then also protein ideas. If you're going there for like breakfast or lunch, and you want something to eat alongside your caffeine or your drink. Um, so you can go ahead and look at these. These are some of my favorites. And then I also added in some um, that just overall will help you reach your goals. Same thing for the smoothie order ideas. I added in Smoothie King and Tropical Smoothie. If you feel like for um, the coffee and smoothie order ideas, you don't have any of these options or you're not going there, then message me, call me, whatever, and I'll help you give you a little guideline of what will look best for you that you'll enjoy and will also help you reach your goals. And then lastly, for our number nine variable training manipulation method, high volume is all about progressive overload and increasing the amount of volume, which is weight, times sets, times reps that you're putting your body under consecutively, consistently. And high volume emphasizes hitting more muscle fibers as much as possible by progressing strength. Um, so below that is kind of what the setup looks like for this week's exercises. First set, eight reps, second, 10, third, 12, and then last one, eight. So really emphasizing strength this week and then also hitting those different muscle fibers by incorporating reps in different ranges. And if you look at the graph next to it, high volume creates greater visual gains because you're putting your body under a lot more stress than if you weren't focusing on incorporating more sets, more weight, more reps, etc. And that concludes week 10. If you have any questions in regards to anything we talked about today, feel free to text me, call me, message me, whatever, and I'll help you with whatever questions you have. But take this information, soak it all up. You're a sponge and let's go kick ass this week.